Is high short interest good or bad? Which stocks perform better? Stocks with high or low short interest? Stay tuned, and you'll get the answer. Short interest in trading has been a hot topic since 2021, when GameStop made short sellers run for cover at prices many times higher than their entry price. But was the short squeeze in GameStop an outlier? How likely are you to make money on stocks with a high short interest? First, let's define short interest. The short interest is based on the number of outstanding shares that are shorted. For example, if a company has 1 billion shares outstanding and 50 million are sold short, then the short interest is at 5%. However, the short interest ratio measures the average number of days it takes for short sellers to cover their short position. For example, if the short interest is 5 million shares and the daily turnover is 1 million shares, then the short interest ratio is 5. The most shorted stocks have a short interest of about 20%, while the lowest deciles have less than 2%, but is high short interest good or bad? In an article named The Predictiveness of Short Interest, the conclusion is that high short interest is followed by weak returns. The authors made the following chart, one-year returns. What does the table and chart tell us? On the left side, we see that the deciles with the highest short interest have the weakest performance. Hence, high short interest is bad for future returns, and stocks like GameStop are outliers. Low short interest companies outperform the average company. Don't fool yourself by looking at anecdotal data and short squeezes. A high short interest is likely not where you will find the next multibagger. Thanks for watching and do not forget to like and subscribe. It means a lot to us and help us make more of these videos. Happy trading!